Greetings. In this video, I'm going to discuss posture. Now, when I practice music, one thing I will often imagine is a string coming down from the ceiling and connecting to the top of my head and pulling me upward. It kind of gets you to elongate your spine and have a, a lighter posture. And what I mean by that is we can have a, a heavy posture and a light posture. A light posture is a posture in which if someone were to push you, you might tip really easily. But a heavy posture is one where you're rooted into the ground. If you think horse stance in martial arts where they bend their knees and they kind of squat a bit, you push someone in that position and you're going to face a lot more resistance. There's a lot more being grounded in a heavy position. Now, we don't necessarily always want to be light when we're playing music, but it's great for flowing and being able to just kind of sway with music. Whereas, you know, maybe a heavier stance is going to be appropriate for certain pieces of music. However, we don't want to hunch your neck. If you spend your whole life bending over the guitar, you're going to be really hunched by the end of all of it. And you don't want to be hunched. It's you, you want to be a, a pleasure to look at to audience audiences. So I would encourage you to be really mindful of that. It's something that is very difficult to assimilate into your practice. I would encourage you to take something that doesn't take all of your focus. So let's say you're doing something that's relatively easier, not so focus intensive, where you have a lot of brain power left to focus on your posture. But if you're doing something extremely difficult and you haven't worked on your posture at all, then it's going to be too much to think about your posture and think about this difficult passage. So we need to start automating our posture so that we can incorporate that into playing difficult music. So I would encourage you to practice that in a space where you have the extra mental bandwidth to handle it until it's so automatic that it starts to pervade your playing in general. Now, another thing I would encourage you to do is to practice in front of a mirror. I have a mirror that's about, it's taller than when I'm sitting. They are pretty inexpensive. You can get one for about 10 or $15. And you just set it in front of where you practice. And you practice facing this mirror. And if you do that, you will see your posture constantly. And not only that, you will see the little facial expressions. And, you know, maybe you breathe right before a tricky passage. Or you scrunch your face. Or you pop your eyebrow. Or any number of things. There's, there's these little visual tics that we have that we just need to train out. It's really, really annoying. I saw a professional violinist who would, <laughs> every time she would start a passage, and it was so frustrating. It was a, a very serious professional performance. And here's a simple thing that she could train out, but she probably wasn't open to the input or just had no one say anything to her. But it looked wretched. And I would encourage you to really practice in front of that mirror, get used to seeing yourself practice, and work on it. Videotape yourself practicing, see what you do, and be patient. It's one of those things that's going to take time, just like any of your skills that are directly related to guitar technique. And I would inco incorporate this into your playing. So be mindful of your posture, work on it, and you will grow. Thank you for watching.